Gamers, me and Team here. Welcome back to Let's Play Here's Might Magic 3 Custom Scenarios. We are in War of the Mighty, a huge map. Um, I think in the future, let's try to stay away from these just because they are a little bit too uh, long, in my opinion. Although, then again, if you guys like watching the really long videos, or not long videos, I know you like long videos, geez. Um, if you really like the really huge long maps that take me an eternity to beat, well, I guess. I mean, it's not like Civ, right? The wait in the eternity between turns is a result, so... Yeah, I mean, if this guy's is, if this is the thing for most of my viewers, then I will not deny it, because it's not like I'm not having fun, so whatever. Okay, so red is there, of all places. Huh. And I did not build up this dungeon town, so he could prolong his life if I'm not careful. Ooh! Charna is not so weak. Well, I did kind of blindside him, didn't I? It's kind of in the story of Red's life. <laughs> it's never been something the AI's been good at, is avoiding getting blindsided. Now, what would be unfortunate, and I don't see a way I can stop it at this point. Yeah. Nope, nope, not gonna be able to do anything. <laughs> like I said, it would be unfortunate if he takes the town and I can't get it back. I don't see a way to stop that, though. So, it's gonna happen, I guess. Yay, give me your gold mine. <laughs> and then, uh, Loin, this is apparently just going to scout for me. Well, Gem could probably clear that. Oh, right, I do need the trade. What do I need for an mon upgraded monastery? Just some precious resources. It's not that critical, I suppose. Not compared to just building up more now. <laughs> yeah, buying the Earth School like that, and uh, really everything the conflict has to offer, it's a huge boost. Huge boost. As this is just the kind of map where Town Portal, Dimension Door, really anything of that nature is uh, just a godsend. And if I could just Dimension Door across to the other side and fight the AI rather than having to march my troops and everything, and if I could just consolidate my castle troops instead of having to run to all these creature dwellings, you know, it's we're not at the point in this game where there's any doubts anymore. So, I don't see why this is such a big deal. But, whatever. 110 points of damage would do not very much. I could try to haste. I think haste to win the speed tie here is the way to go. Yeah, that works. And now I'm just going to play for morale hacks with these guys. Nope. Doesn't matter. I killed enough of them, they can't do anything. I'll grab some monks. Oop, oop, wait, what? What are you doing? Oh, I see. Yeah, we'll pursue and engage. 15 times 9. So 90 plus whatever, 9 times 5. Lightning bolt won't do it, will it? Now, it'll almost kill them off. Ha! It's still pretty nasty because they have a double shot. Oh, well, whatever. We don't need archers anyway, right? Owned! Man, I love Curse now. I love all the magic schools. That's why I got all the magic schools. Turning Adela into Dragon, just you wait. <laughs> I'm gonna get that blind spell. I'm gonna get everything. There's so many towns on this map. <laughs> yeah. Ugh, they're actually pretty rough. They are definitely, definitely, definitely weak to being cursed. Charge! No! Yeah, they're barely doing more damage than the elves, and there's more of them. D 
decent margin. Um, yeah, you're not gonna do anything. You're my fodder for later. If you don't mind that status. How fast are these things? Probably not fast enough to bridge that gap. That's good. And yeah, they can't do anything to my level 6 troops. Oh wow. My monks are pretty strong. Advanced air, huh? Yeah, I could see that being useful. Certainly more so than navigation. Yeah, I think we're coming up to the point where I want to upgrade all my troops and like take out the dragon utopia maybe. Uh, yeah, that kind of thing. Oh yeah, still this town. Which doesn't have the troops upgraded, and I probably won't upgrade them there. Or maybe I will out of convenience. We'll see. We'll see what I feel like doing. Do I have my troops here? Or can I recruit them? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Actually, upgrade the stuff you have. And let's buy some resources, shall we? I have to worry about angels because they're not going to get angels. I'm just going to work with other stuff. What am I missing? Oh, I'm missing the fact that I have built something already. Okay. That's fine. And that looks like that's Red's last stand. And he hires Galthran. And Galthran might be the undead's best starting hero anyway, so I don't know why I didn't do it sooner, but uh, it works for me. It's not like I want the AI to play much better and destroy me. Well, I want it to play better, but I don't want it to destroy me. Alright, guards. Alright, Jem. You are in the first fully upgraded town in terms of creatures that I have. Be proud. Be very proud. Yay! Stuff that will probably scare the AI. Go! Nope. Let's grab all. Oh, it was. This stuff was explored already. I see what happened. I got. Shrouded by the Necro Town. That's fine though. It's good to clear this stuff finally. Pack of Minotaur Kings. Watch, they'll probably offer to join now. Yep. And, um. Hmm. Just to pack this late in the game. I mean, I do have a last roster slot, but, I, you know, it's probably gonna have to be something ridiculous for it to be worth my while compared to just adding a level 6 troop that I can recruit in mass. So I'm going to decline and kill them. Oof. They are really brutal though. Also heavily affected by Bless and Curse. So that's something to bear in mind. Um, I could slow them too, but... Let's see, 12 times 5... Yuck. <sighs> Quite sick on the hit points here, aren't we? If I did full damage, it would be nice, but... What are my other options? Not a lot yet. Here. Uh, even that's not great. If I had, like, advanced or expert slow, it would do much better. That is better than nothing, I suppose. If I'm willing to haste something, I can probably... Well, I could take advantage of the terrain. Wait also. Okay, here's where I throw down a bless, which I do have improved powers on it, so. Okay, we're good. Uh, okay. Whatever. Go home! Can pick up 
have some swordsmen, I guess. You go home too. We're all going home. I could have sworn I had some of these types of mines. Now that I'm looking. Like, don't I have silver dunes? I guess I do. I do have at least one of everything. Because I spent it and now I have one more. I can get tons of mercury, that's for sure. Ah, here we go. More sulfur dunes. That's what I'm looking for. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah, and um, this map is better balanced than I thought it was. Um, because now when I'm looking at it, what I'm seeing is that you have a situation where you're fighting one-on-one -on -one with the same faction in two different areas. So that's not that bad. And man, would Fortress have helped me a lot here. I could have had level 6 troops right away, or even Inferno would have been a better starting thing. Being stuck on my low level troops on these towns really cost me. And I deliberately picked Castle for this, because one of the things that makes Castle so much better than the other factions is the fact that you have Archangels, which are, if not the best level 7, and it's debatable, but you know, they're definitely one of the top level 7 options you can possibly field. And uh, yeah, that just didn't matter because I don't have angels. So if I'm going to showcase castle, and I've really not shown a lot of castle since what? Armageddon's Blade? I figured, why not? Let's show it on a map where it's not at its uh, peak. And you can really get into the uh, ins and outs of it. Of its capabilities otherwise. And I guess I need... Well, I guess I have to choose between uh, uh, training grounds and monastery. It's not a hard choice. We'll go for that. And red's just gonna stay there. Excellent. And actually, we're gonna do something we haven't done in a while in this series. Just transfer troops from. Iona to Adela, who can then upgrade massively. Oh yeah, we don't need those. <laughs> I guess I can continue collecting troops with my runners. It's not that big a deal. And just to make the map look prettier, I'll go ahead and flag it all. It's a nice uh, effect. Do I really want familiars? No. Do I care about fighting them? No. Get out of my way. What's over here? No. Oh. Eh, it's alright. It's a good item, actually. It wouldn't be bad to get Orin back here. But I am going to loop Orin back home as well. Before I do that, though, we have something else to take care of. Well, first we're going to get rid of Galthran. This skeleton specialty. Wow, he's actually a strong hero. What the heck? Oh, whoa, what the heck? Oh, right. I'm on uh, Magic Moon Ground. Hmm. I think I'll wait, because uh, he can throw down some nasty stuff on me. Or he can just... What? I don't think you're getting another chance there, guy. But we'll see. What? what? <laughs> My tactic is to throw troops away by throwing them onto the moat. Oh, we're gonna do it. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Did I really just see that correctly? He really junked his stuff that way. It's amazing. But uh, this is actually uh, not opening so well for me. And I can't slow him in return. Cursing him is pointless. Landmines are just kind of lulzy. Hmm. I, mean, I could just dispel it, but wouldn't he just use it again? Oh, um, I could really land with the vampires with that. Do I have Bless? 
Damn it. No, I don't. Alright. Ranged attacks, not too important. We'll go with this. How long will that last? Long enough. First things first, before they massively regen, we're dogpiling the vampires. Everybody on the vampire lords. Okay. And, um... In terms of damage output, the skeletons are pretty threatening after that. We can't really do anything. I'd like to not put myself up for uh, more split damage than necessary. Yeah, whites aren't that threatening. Let's just... I have the shield to uh, protect me. Well, not entirely, but it does reduce the damage from melee effects, and at expert level, it's uh, pretty significant, so whatever. Weird, he didn't go for the extra damage. Alright. Well, you can kill the Dread Knights. Shoot. How much of them are left? Six times three, so 180 plus six. I don't think I can do anything better than this right now. No, doesn't look like it. Because I think the Griffins can reach either way next turn. Or at least the haste wouldn't have made them reach this turn. Maybe I should have hasted them after all, huh? Whatever. Ah, waste sign. Get out of here, Charna. It's interesting. If I... I can buy air magic later, probably. See ya, Red. I would say it's nice to know you, but that wouldn't be honest. Did I get this already? Yeah. What's the black one guarding? Loins of Legion. And a decent artifact. I'll do it when I get the uh, Utopia. Let's unlock our Mercury, since I have a hankering to build some mage guilds. And there's no point in you going this way, so uh, go explore him a little bit. We've done well to destroy Red here. <laughs> Red can suck one. And Gem... I really don't have a lot else to use with you right now. Okay, well, apparently I had a crypt I didn't clear, so I might as well do that. Speed bonus, let's get rid of the skeleton so my marksman can get an attack off. Four, can't reach. Wow, okay. That's, uh, gonna work. Like usual. Good job, Jim. <sighs> Don't think I finished upgrading here. No, I did not upgrade the monastery. Would also be useful, I believe, to um, upgrade the mage guild to level four. Ah, yes. There you, go. you get him, Gretchen. What does this have to offer? Nothing great. You do occasionally get some broken artifacts. It'd be like really comical. Like, oh yeah, you want to buy this spellbinder's hat? <laughs> Gee, I wonder about that one. Meek of the rat. Get some archers. And 
the Della. Can receive the goods. I wonder what that Sears hut wants. Ah, yes. Finally time, isn't it? Well, let's recruit everything, too. I'm gonna be a truly fearsome force here. Wait, what? I didn't upgrade the guardhouse? Never. <laughs> I did now. Man, look at the power on this stuff. This is disgusting now. Yeah, I took all the money I had, but who cares? You can actually slaughter a dragon utopia with this stuff. Oh my god. <laughs> Do I need that? Not really. <coughs> hmm. Looks like it's at least one or two a video, huh? Okay, still got the charm of mana, so I don't need to hang around in town. Hmm. Yep, let's go clear the Dragon Utopia. Get a ton of experience, grab the Tree of Knowledge, get even more experience, and completely get broken. That's the idea. I'm pretty sure it will work out that way as well. Meanwhile, Sonya's just gonna run around, flag whatever Red had flagged. What? Why are nomads in the way? You see, this is what I don't understand about the AI. Does it just not think to go that direction? Or, you know, what is it? It's kind of bad. Okay, you can stay there for now, I guess. Like, it doesn't clear its mind, which it needs to build. It's even slower and worse than me. Yeah, sure, we can roast some fire elementals. Why not? Aside from the fact that my forces have been badly whittled down by red and that I don't have any spell points left anyway. But those are details. Who cares about details? Um, yeah, get jousted. Now my undead are useless. But who cares? We're awesome. It's not gonna work. I'm not gonna kill any cavalry. Or cavaliers for that matter, which is the actual unit name. But certainly not killing any cavalry either, as there is in fact none to kill. Wait a minute, did Adela visit this ever? Yeah, thank god. It prevents me from doing stupid like going doing something stupid like going back for it. Okay, so there's another gem mine. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's an easy east-west access. I'm kind of curious for what's in the uh, quest guard there. In fact, well, when I actually get money, huh? I do want to see. Do I have a tavern here? No, of course not. Why would I have a tavern? Oh, I can't get more heroes. Wow. That's really something. Or, more specifically, you can't have them on the field at the same time. I think I can uh, recruit a hero here now. Yeah. Man, I have not run into that limit in, like, well, ever as far as I recall. At least not while doing the Let's Play. Oh, there's another Boots of Speed there. I need to buy it. Huh. <laughs> Whatever. The important thing is that Red is dead, much like in the game Mafia. And, um, that I'm set. Set to build up these, uh, towns in terms of treat creature accounts and, uh, basically break the game. So, that's excellent. 
No more marksman left from my archery special test. But uh, we're good, we're good. If I need a way to turn to upgrade everything and to recruit everything. And much as I predicted, the griffins are going insane on the numbers. That's pretty much what I thought would happen. I can't clear any of this stuff yet. Alright, Ingham. And yeah, at this point, going for the numbers, I don't know. It's kind of a pain. What should I do? Should I just grab more stuff? Okay. Look at all that ore and lumber I have. Probably want to be uh, switching some of that for gold soon. Seems it tickles my fancy anyway. Alright, let's finish recruiting some troops here. Because we can clear out two Dragon Utopias, I am sure. Yeah. He'll be in good condition for that. Nothing that's really going to help against dragons, but, you know, whatever. You know what helps against dragons? Stats and unit count. And the stats are pretty good here, I'm not going to lie. Wait a minute. Dope. And I wasn't wearing the equestrian gloves. What would I have to give up to get it? Health or attack and defense skill? Seriously now. No wonder those heroes are outrunning me and making nuisances of themselves. Seriously. Screw off. I don't think I visited that yet. I think I established that. Go down there. It seems kind of odd. Like, they're just random border guards, you know? It's not like, um, they're guarding anything amazing. They're guarding, like, eh, okay artifacts. Not really great. I mean, you'll use them, usually, just because you don't have a different artifact. And they're definitely helpful. You like them. But, you know, you're not really getting a whole lot that's really important as a result of that. Let's go find some lines. All right. We have a save to make. Did I get this already? Yeah. And there's the green border tent. So I can clear that out. And it looks like Orin actually is better than Adela. Part of that's his equipment though. But they're both pretty solid heroes. So I actually have built up two decent heroes. Yes! Bring it on! Let's kiss archers goodbye. Nope, nope. Take that black dragons. <laughs> Owned by your own. Oh, I don't have mass bless. I have bless, but not mass bless. Of all the things to bless, the uh, griffins are probably my best bet. You know what? I'm gonna wait with everything except for my archers. Stab them and have them attack back. What? It didn't hit the gold dragons? Damn it all. I did blow retaliation on these, didn't I? It would be useful to take advantage of that fact. Try not to set myself up for multiple retaliations, however. Or not multiple retaliations, it's impossible. What I meant to say, but didn't say, was um, breath attack splash. Interesting. Am I unhealth here? Five fifty? Wow. I can easily just finish this. Okay. 
well, lost all my marksmen, which sucks, especially since it took forever to recruit them all. But uh, most of my other stuff is intact. Yeah, obviously I'm taking expert air. Ugh, sea captain's hat, not so good. This is an interesting effect. Uh, gold is obviously well worth my while, so I'm glad to have the gold. Sentinel shield is... <laughs> Hurts my attack skill, but whatever. This isn't very useful on this map. Unless I can hire a boat. Can I build a boat? No. <laughs> okay. I guess it would be a little silly if I could, but it's worth a look. Let's go grab another level. Hmm. Sure. Pure mage. <laughs> Lots of spell points. And this time it's not my fault. I, you know, the, the high knowledge thing. I know I've knowledge trolled a little bit too much in the past, but seriously. <laughs> I haven't even had the option to do that in this. It's just her own basic growth plus the artifacts I've picked up. I'm Inno. Well, whatever. Good enough job there, Adela. I guess I should go clear whatever remaining troops are nearby as I build up my guilds. I think the most important thing for me to get right now are mines. So I guess I'll start there. cycle around. Yeah, I want to find out what that does. Gretchen. What? I can't upgrade my training grounds here? Wow. You guys are jerks. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. I think I'll uh, defeat the uh, second dragon utopia and then we'll call this video quits at least. Still, this is one of those situations where I think the map is won. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it's it's I just don't see the threat coming for me. Maybe the uh, last AI is something ridiculous, and I'm gonna lose to it. But no, nope, no, nope, I think that ends all doubt now. The fact that I've overtaken the computer in Kingdom Army Strength uh, pretty much ends any semblance of doubt that this map is won. It's just a matter of time. So I think after the next Dragon Utopia, I'm just going to uh, maybe send an exploratory party underneath the ground, uh, fish around for the Grail a bit possibly, and uh, build up mage guilds. But I might do that off screen just to faci facilitate the progress on this map. Is if I'm strong, if I'm stronger than the AI, seriously, there's no reason to expect it can beat me, especially since both of my heroes are comparable to the best hero of the uh, AI-only playable. Faction, so I don't know. I mean, yeah, he'll probably have a stack of bone dragons, and that's unfortunate because if it were anything else, I just hate dealing with the undead, I guess. <laughs> but whatever. I mean, I can neutralize that regardless. So, yeah, that's the plan. And what do I need here? Weird, weird requirement. Speaking of which, uh, she's not at level 12 yet, but she should be close-ish. Yeah, like one more fight and she's level 12. So I should be able to bust through that fairly easily then. But I'll probably develop my hero enough first. And so we shall take on the other Dragon Utopia and probably lose all marksmen in existence. Yay, everyone beat up on the archers. No, I guess not. Well, well, well. It's a little bit harder, I guess. Wow, my spell selection is atrocious. And I can't do anything to the dragons, really, anyway. Alright, what we do here is we dogpile the gold dragons. Yeah. 
Well, this'll work. Using you. Although I can get really solid damage on anything I attack. Yeah, my first hit on them is going to maul them, so... Yeah, that's probably good enough. And now we dogpile on the gold dragons. Actually, right there is probably good. Man, <laughs> these stats are just making me better than I was thinking, honestly. Fine. I mean, I'll either retaliation, but I'll also kill one. Okay, they can't possibly survive this, so that'll end this fight. Expert offense, absolutely. Diplomat's ring. Oopsie. <laughs> that's, uh. Yeah, that's. <laughs> really? The only remaining question is who to send, Adela or Orin? <laughs> and I like Adela a little better, even though I think Orin's probably the better hero uh, as a might hero, but Adela will be a better abuser of Dimension Door with expert earth magic. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Change of plan, viewers. <laughs> I guess I'll show this after all. I will take some time to build up my mage guilds, but um, this map is going to go a lot faster now that I have access to Dimension Door. And yes, the Tomb of Air Magic will unlock Flying Dimension Door, as you can see. So, alright, in the interim, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, oh wait, I was going to clear some of these border guards and whatnot. I'm going to, like, finish clearing border guards, pick up some mines, and what have you. Uh, build up my mage guild. But ultimately, um, deliver the dimension door to Adela. Um, uh, stat distribute all the artifacts on her. And ship her off with gobs and gobs of troops. But I'll, I'll at least come back for the troops, or if anything major happens. But, uh, you know, at this point, you, there's really not much doubt how this is going to end when I have uh, quite a few castle towns that are built up and, you know, large amounts of forces that can really just crush everything. It's not an issue. So, yeah. Let me go ahead and do that. I also have gobs of gold and broken artifacts because I cleared the dragon utopias. And even if the AI did too, it's, it's not going to matter. When you have even forces with the AI and better heroes, the AI is screwed. I will, um, yeah, so let me do that. I will see you guys in the next part, which will be forward a little bit in terms of game time. But, uh, we'll be ready to see me start the stomping of the remaining AIs. So, until then, thumbs up if you enjoy the video, and, uh, me and team signing off.